See how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Scrambling around. Picks up five on the scramble. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. Now he tries to buy some time. Room around the corner. He's going to take off. He's taken down at the 35. It's a great decision here by the quarterback not to force a throw when there's nothing there. The run turned out to be equally as effective as a pass play anyway. First and ten, ball on the 35. He guns it. This is a well-prepared defense. They know where to be, and they know what their opponent likes to do. And they play tight coverage as well. Miller gets the call. Tackle made around the 35-yard line. Sometimes a play is not going to work for whatever reason. Doesn't mean you throw the play away. You just need to execute better next time. It's third and ten. Ball on the 35-yard line. And he's taken down right around the 28-yard line. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Yeah, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. TCU could take the lead with this field goal. It has the distance, and he nails the long field goal. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. The Wolverines know that they can give this guy the ball, Kirk, 25, 30 times a game, and that's great. And if it's working, that's perfect. But also, as a defensive team, you look at him and you go, we worry about him too much, we could get burned somewhere else. Well, the defensive coach has told us this week the first thing that they have to do is stop this running game. And when, when you're convinced that you have to stop the running game, you leave your defensive backs, especially your corners, isolated one-on-one -on -one in coverage. And if they're smart, they'll try to take advantage of that and try to make some big plays in the passing game, maybe early, and then go back to old reliable, and that's running the football. So the sack makes this a second and long. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Complete. He's got room. They bring him down around the 23 yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Knocked out of bounds at the 33. Great touch by the quarterback. Floating that one right into his hands. That takes some skill. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 33. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. And he's tackled around the 32-yard line. And he has 
has it on the corner. He's at midfield. He's tackled around the 44-yard line. It's first and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. He's got an opening. Brought down around the 36-yard line. There's a strike complete. Tackle around the 19-yard line. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. And this play is number eight on the drive. And he's level at the 18. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 18. Throws it in a hurry. And he's pushed out of bounds, setting up a first and goal. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Tackles him hard at the nine. From the nine yard line, it's second down. Down he goes at the two-yard line. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Touchdown, Wolverines. So it's the big haul. On the score. And I think the fullbacks deserve to get some of the spotlight. They're always out there working hard for everybody else. They're like a glorified offensive lineman. They never get any recognition. And he adds the extra point. A 12 play, 79 yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He's scrambling. And they make the stop right around the 26-yard line. Duggan only gets about a yard there on the quarterback scramble. Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 26. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. The ball pops free. Scooped up by the offense. From their own 39-yard line, second down. after a decent run up the gut. Right. 
Throws quickly, and it's almost intercepted. But well, you want to do everything you can to keep the ball out of the hands of these receivers. So that was a really good effort. Henning is back deep to return. Gets to about the 27-yard line. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. Michigan is up by four. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. From their own 28-yard line, second down. He's scrambling. Run ball, loose ball. He's taken down around the 30-yard line. From their own 30-yard line, third down, five wide. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle made at the 45-yard line. From their own 45-yard line, it's first down. Runs outside for a nice game. And he throws it away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Michigan holds a four-point lead. Oh, excellent punt. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Michigan's defense really came to play early in this football game. Well, they've done a good job here early, but you know eventually this offense is going to start clicking. Let's see if this defense can sustain this for the rest of the game. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Up the middle for a nice game. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. Makes the catch, and he might take it inside the 30. And he's taken down at the 24. Now it's first and ten after the big pass play. And he's stopped behind the line. The option can be really tough to defend. At that time, it was well played by the defense. They go with a the run. 
He makes it to the 25-yard line. It's third and 11. Ball on the 25-yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. He gets it up, and he's got it. TCU is ready to kick it away. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 23-yard line. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Michigan of the points. Gets to about the 24-yard line. From their own 24-yard line. Second down. Edwards gets the call again. Makes it to the 34. He's at midfield. Looks to his receiver. First down. That's the end of quarter number one, and we got a pretty good ball game on our hands so far. 7-6, Michigan. Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Well, the defensive line got such a good push up front that there was no one on the offense to account for the linebacker. And he got through almost untouched. From the 48-yard line, it's second down. Oh, and big hit there to stop him. Michigan is up one. Throws complete. He's got room to work. They'll bring him down at about the 33-yard line. From the 33-yard line. First down. He's at the 20. He's pushed out of bounds at the 17-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 17. There's a little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. That penalty will move him back a bit. Yeah, with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. Man left, man left. Go down, go down. Mike 19, Mike 19. Go down, go down. Takes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. The offensive line has got to do a better job of making space because that was just a punishing hit. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 19-yard line. They 
that'll knock him down for a loss. There's nothing better than having an athletic, versatile, and instinctive safety. He makes a big-time play here with his recognition of the run, comes up and does what he does best, which is making a nice, short tackle on the ball carrier. This is the 10th play of this drive. Michigan with a one-point lead. They bring him down. Boy, this defense really came to play today. Well, they said before the game that they wanted to put a lot of pressure on this quarterback. They sure stuck to that plan. Fourth and long here after the sack. Somebody jumped early down there. Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches have a low threshold for mistakes like that. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. The only problem is they're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. Everything about that play was crisp. The route, the throw, the catch. That's fun to see. Keep 15, keep 15. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Tackled after a decent pickup. He's on the run. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Henning back deep to return. Knocked out of bounds around the 46-yard line. And for Horton, he's been all over the field for this defense. This is one of those guys that just flat out is disruptive. I think the offense has done as good a job as they can at trying to build their game plan around his ability, but he still has made so many plays. And I think the thing that the offense is struggling to stop is just his overall speed. The offensive line is underestimating, and quite honestly, I just don't think they have the physical manpower to be able to slow him down to prevent him for making plays. Michigan, up a point. Dumps it complete over the middle. He's tackled at about the 49. From their own 49-yard line. Second down. He's tackled at the 41. Two times, two times. He makes it to the 38 yard line. From the 38 yard line, second down. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. He airs it out. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal.
And the big pickup through the air has made it first and goal. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five-yard setback can do damage to a drive. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. From the nine-yard line, second down, Michigan is up one. On the ground, right side, and down he goes, around the 11-yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Laid hand off, and he's not going to get back to the line. This one should be makeable. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch is going to be enough to draw the flag. The kick is up, and they tack on three points. Moody is lined up to kick this one off. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. And he's level at the 27 yard line. From their own 27 yard line, it's second down. Now he tries to buy some time. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. He's at midfield. He makes his way to about the 48, and the tailback broke that one for a very nice game. Give the offensive line some kudos there. They blocked very well up front to create the holes for this back. From the 48-yard line, first down. He passes it. This one will fall incomplete. Braddy drops the ball here. I don't know if he's starting to peek downfield and think about the return or what, but that ball's right in his hands. He just dropped it. Here we go. Runs it and tackled in the backfield. down now and they need to get it down to the 38. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. He gets rid of this one. From the 32-yard line, it's second down. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Here we go. And he 
sacked. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on a quarterback. we will be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. The Wolverines get ready to go in here at halftime. They've got their star player not having the kind of game he normally has on a weekly basis. And yet, they've got the lead. And with that in mind, third and fourth quarter could belong to them. Third and fourth quarter should belong to them because I have a lot of confidence that this offense is eventually going to start to click. And, and once they do, I think it's a matter of time until you really find out what they're capable of doing. The defense, I think, has done a good enough job of slowing down that star tailback. We'll see if they can hold on here in the second half. He's taken down at about the 19-yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Michigan holds a four-point lead. Out of bounds, right around the 24-yard line. made at about the 21. The option is all about timing, and on that play, the timing was just off. That's going to happen sometimes. Second and 14. Ball on the 21-yard line. Grabs a pitch, looking for the corner. He's out to the 30. He's knocked out of bounds around the 30-yard line. First and ten, ball on the 40. Fakes to the back. Strike to his receiver, no good. The ball just sailed on him and he knows it. He'll get it next time. He flings it left. Third down now, and they need to get it out to the 50. Michigan is up by four. He's in trouble. Nearly intercepted. Davis is the deep man awaiting the return. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 30. Both offenses have played it pretty close to the best so far in this one. Yeah, because they've been so conservative, it's made it pretty easy for both of these defenses to be pretty dominant. Let's see an offense open it up and take a few chances. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And he's taken down at about the 37-yard line. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Makes it out to about the 50. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. the stop at the 44-yard line. He made a good read here to find his teammate. That's sound decision-making. They're about four yards away here on second down. Quick right, 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 
Quick strike to the receiver. He's at the 30. Tackle at the 12. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 12 yard line. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. That was well defended by this defense. The offensive line is so concerned with their penetrating abilities that these linebackers are able to roam free and make plays like that. And he hits him hard at the 22. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Kicks away, and it's through the uprights. We've still got a half of football remaining. Michigan's up by one. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Perhaps the most important statistic in any football game is turnover margin. I once had a wise coach tell me that the football was so important they named the game after it. Whatever that means. I think it means that you're not supposed to let it get away from you and give it to the other team. And so far, both of these offenses have done a great job of that. No doubt. And most games are lost, not won. And, and it's because of the turnover differential. And you can look at the stats when you say that every single time. But, you know, both teams doing a good job taking care of it. Both offenses executing and still calling a game, still, still scoring points, still putting up good numbers but at the same time taking care of the pigskin. And they better value that thing because, yeah, you give it away and bad things happen. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk ready to roll. Very close game now as we start the second half. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. There we go, D. That's the way to hit. They're set to go for another round. Michigan with a one point lead. He's out to the 30. They'll bring him down around the 32 yard line. First and ten, ball on the 32. Here they come. And he is drilled at the 38-yard line. Good coverage by the defense, but they have to be aware of this quarterback's tendency to scramble around and pick up some yards. Gets it out to about the 47-yard line. First and 10. Ball of their own 47. Nice run up the middle. to being intercepted. Hey, this guy's got to forget about the drop. Remember, he was in good position to make a play. From the 48-yard line, third down. He 
he's tackled right around the 28 yard line. Michigan up a point. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. And he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. From the 26-yard line, second down. Here's the halfback, tackled for a loss. The defense was playing run all the way right there, and it paid off for him. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. He zips it out to the left. Finds his receiver. Touchdown. Nicely designed play to the wide receiver, and it got him six. You said it, Brad, and a good time to call it. I tip my hat to the offensive coordinator. They got great concentration from everyone to connect on that flag pattern. And he adds the extra point. So a nine-play, 76-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drop. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So our score, 17-9. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Here he goes. Makes it out to about the 33. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. They'll give it off here. And they get nice yardage on that run. Scrambling around. Slides down to the ground. He scrambled and picked up a couple of yards. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 42. Here's the handoff, and he's taken down for a loss. I think anytime you lose yardage, it's frustrating as a ball carrier. It's very frustrating as a play caller. Makes you a little bit more hesitant maybe to go back to a certain play. The biggest thing you want to do as an offensive coordinator is get the offense over to the sideline after the series, make sure everybody's on the same page, and then show the confidence that you still have in them despite this play that you're going to go right back to the running back and trust that offensive line. That play was designed to pick up a first down, but they didn't do it. It looks like the receiver just lost track of where he was on the field. Henning is back to receive. Nice yardage on the run back. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. And he's tackled at the 28. Nowhere to go for the halfback. That's a loss of one. From their own 28-yard line, second down. Michigan holds an eight-point advantage. And down he goes around the 24-yard line. I like how the defense got all up into that option to disrupt it. The offense looks a bit unsettled after losing that battle. Nearly picked off, but he couldn't hold it.
Robbins is the punter. He gets it away. And this is a really nice punt. Heading for the corner. And they push him out around the 34-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Hands it to the back. And he's stopped behind the line. Well, I think it's safe to say the defense had his number on that one. It can be very frustrating for a running back when he stopped before he even gets going. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 31. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. the 38. So with that penalty, they'll move the chains. Man, that is frustrating for a defense when you think you've made a stop and then a flag gives them a first down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 47. Gets to about the 44-yard line. Miller gains around three yards on the run. Good outside run there. About six yards on the quarterback draw. They'll line it up again on third down. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. They'll give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, too, that's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. Catches it, and that's all. Good catch on third down, but they're still short. What do you think here, Kirk? I don't know. I think they should go for it. They have good field position, and they're going to have to put some points on the board to get back in this game. Doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here. He just wants to change field position. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Michigan up by eight. On the counter, Russell down behind the line. Loss of two by the halfback. From their own 18 yard line, it's second down. He's out to the 30. He's to the 40. Tackle made at the 49. He scrambled. And they get the sack. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Defense looking for another sack here on this second and 13 situation. Swings it out left to the halfback. Seven yards there. Good decision here. Nice dump off. It's only seven yards, but the offense will take that play every time. Step 
Gives up an easy sack for a loss. Davis will be the return man. And this one is a beauty. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Takes the ball inside. They bring him down in the backfield. It's never good for a back's confidence to get tackled for a loss. But this guy knows that he's got to just keep at it, and the holes will start to open up. Second down and 12. Ball on their own 18. He's on the run. And he can't get away from the pressure. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He's to the 20. Got it to the senior. And he's taken down at the 25-yard line. They shut that drive down pretty emphatically. That's something to build on. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. It really has. They're dominating the point of attack. This defense has been bringing the blitz and is having success getting to him. Well, sacks only tell one part of the story. The scoreboard tells the most important part. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Michigan is up by eight. Tackle at the 49-yard line. From their own 49-yard line. Second down. Brought down at about the 49. Picked off. Robbins to punt. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Caught with room to work. And they make the stop right around the 32-yard line. From their own 32-yard line. First down. Got the corner. Gets to about the 34-yard line. And that's it for quarter number three. Folks, we got a great game on our hands. Michigan's up by eight. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Throw 
throws it to the halfback on the screen. He's pushed out of bounds at the 35. From their own 35-yard line. Third down. They'll bring him down around the 41-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 41. Here we go. Red 18. Red Somebody jumped red early 18. down there. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. tries to buy some time. He's tackled at the 38-yard line. So the quarterback scrambles for about eight yards. From the 38-yard line, it's second down. Gives it off. He takes it right side for a good game. He's scrambling. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. He gets hit out of bounds at the 18. Well, that's the second time that this defense has given up a first down on third down. You work so hard as a defense to get an offense to third down. When you get them there, you've got to be able to have somebody step up and make a big play, whether it's a defensive tackle slipping through a block, a linebacker shooting a gap, a defender in the secondary that's able to make a play on a football. Somebody's got to make a play, and that's what winning, the difference between winning a football game and losing is how you play on third down. This is the ninth play of this drive. Key 15, key 15. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Slings it. Touchdown, TCU! And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect rep. All he had to do after that was make the catch. And the secondary didn't quite seem alert enough to defend that pass. Very important play coming up, and if they can get these two yards, we'll have a tie ball game. Let's go! Red, six, five, He's got the two. Two fantastic plays in a row. First the touchdown, and now the conversion. What a turn of events this late in the game. TCU is lining up to kick this one off. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 29. And you know, it's basically like we're starting from zero here in a one-quarter game now. Every possession is vital. They'll spread the field with five wide. He lets it fly. That gives him 100 yards in the game. you got to love this quarterback-receiver combo. Talking to these guys before the game, they told me they spend about an hour after every practice perfecting the routes. It sure shows. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. Quick pass, and he's tackled at the 27. the middle but met in the backfield from the 28 yard line second down they keep it on the ground with a tailback 
He makes it to the 25-yard line. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Got it to his man on the screen. And down he goes at about the 19-yard line. Fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. The kick is up, and it's good. And with that, all the pressure now shifts back to the other side. That's what a good kicker can do. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 20. He's going to try and scramble, and they got him. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. Behind on the scoreboard here in the fourth quarter, and third and very, very long. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He tackles him hard at the three-yard line. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. And that'll be three and out. Oh, excellent punt. Henning takes it at the 47, tackle at the 35-yard line. The Wolverine staff has got to be ecstatic. Whether it's Chess or Checkers, they're playing out there today. They're winning. Well, this defensive staff trying to slow down this offense came in with a mindset of stopping the running game, first and foremost. And unfortunately for this defense, they've lost a battle out on the perimeter. And right now, they're giving up too many big plays through the air. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. It's second and 10. Ball on the 35. Michigan holds a field goal lead. Up the middle for a nice game. To be successful, you've got to be able to come through on third down, and that's just what they did with that big run. From the 18-yard line, it's first down. Scrambling around. It's on the ground. Looks like a defensive lineman might have it, and he does. And that's a very heads-up play by the defensive end to jump on that fumble. Here's a great job of the defense there to take advantage of the mistake and cause that turnover. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. They'll knock him down for a loss. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. From their own 10-yard line, second down. There's a little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. 
You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. Fires out to his wideout. Tackle made at about the 17-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Third and long here in the fourth, and this is the biggest third down of the ball game. Ready, Let's do him again. Complete, and he's taken down at the 26-yard line. downtown and he's hit immediately they're giving away free yards and only making life easier for the guys on the other side of the ball now it's first and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass there was some movement on the line Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches have a low threshold for mistakes like that. Gets out to around the 18. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 18-yard line. He gets to about the five. On the ground, inside. And they'll bring him down behind the line. They couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage on that one. I don't think they did a very good job of selling the pass. The defense was able to read the play and come right in there and make a nice stop. From the seven-yard line, it's second down. Nice run, and he's brought down. It's the ninth play of the drive. Less than three minutes in the game. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. They're going to go for the easy three here. Might have been some early movement up front. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five-yard setback can do damage to a drive. Kicks up, and the field goal is good. Big, big kick. It's up to the defense now to make some plays and hold on to this lead. TCU is ready to kick it away. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, I'm sure the return man would have loved to go for six that time. There's a lot of time left, and I think the important thing for this offense is to get their momentum back and move the ball down the field. They coughed up the pigskin the last time they had the ball. Let's see if they can hold on to it this time. The defense, I'm sure, will be aggressive again. They love going for the strip and attacking the football. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. It's first and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. Complete. He's got room. Brought down at the 45-yard line. Three down, three down. Hey, check right, check right, right six, 
He gets out to about the 44-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 44. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. complete. He's got space to work. He steps out at the 10-yard line. From the 10-yard line, first down. They're in the red zone after coughing up the ball on their last trip down here. And they make the stop at about the 7-yard line. the way that offense dug deep to get the lead here this late in the fourth quarter that might translate over and give enough emotion to their defense to win the football game and he converts the extra point everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff sends it sailing downfield And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Wow, what a fourth quarter, Kirk. Both these teams are scoring at will. Can either one of these defenses come up with a stop? Just make a play. Otherwise, it's going to come down to who has the ball left. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. So it's second and 10. Ball on their own 25. They come out on an empty backfield. He scrambled. Slides down. And that was a nice pickup by the quarterback. Brad, I think this guy is amazing. He has an uncanny ability to scramble, and it showed right there on that play. They'll bring him down at about the 49. I'm really liking what I see from this guy. He's not afraid to go to the air on any down. First and 10. Ball on their own 49. Now he tries to buy some time. He's tackled around the 49-yard line. Spikes the ball. wide. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Throws it in a hurry. So the big blow comes from the defense. They come up with the stop of the day, and that'll ice this football game. So now the offense comes back out, hoping for the same success they had on their last drive. If you can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. The Horn Frogs, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. Michigan is up by a touchdown, and he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. So that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, 
27-20, Michigan. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.